Good morning, everyone. My name is Denise coming um, to you from Utah. I am starting a YouTube channel for my little baby uh, blue-headed macaw named Rhea. She flies in today and I'm super happy. Um, I'm starting a channel um, really because when I was looking into getting a blue-headed macaw, I was trying to do as much research as possible. Um, I've had blue and gold, I've had um, red front and macaw, but never <clears throat> have I even seen a blue-headed macaw in person or known anybody with one. So I decided to start a channel um, and kind of follow through her life and training and the pros and cons and the goods and the bads. So um, if people are wanting to research or really thinking about getting a blue-headed macaw, they'll have a channel of a little bit of information. Um, I'm hoping that there'll be more information um, in the future about them. Um, they're just not as popular as pets. Um, I feel like it's probably due to up until a few years ago, um, they really thought they were, um, they were going extinct in the wild. Um, but it turned out that there was more than what they thought, so that's good. Um, but with the breeding, um, I just haven't run into a whole lot of them. So I really want to get some information out there for anybody who uh, might be interested as well. So I do not like being on camera. <laughs> I do not like hearing myself. So please bear with me. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to this because if you would have told me six months ago, I was going to put a video on YouTube, I would have said, you're crazy. There is no way I'm going to be doing that. But I just feel like it's important for some information to get out there with them um, for people. That way, um, they're not just looking at pictures and reading about their wild um, habits, but maybe this would not be the bird for them. Maybe it is the bird for them. So hopefully there'll be a little bit more information out there. You find information on the blue and golds, on all the cockatoos, anything that has a vast majority of being um, kept as pets. And with the blue heads, there's just not a lot. I, I know people have them. Um, I've seen pictures of them. I've seen a couple of videos of them, but nothing really about training or um, how they are as babies versus adults and what their habits are. So that's why I'm starting this. So thank you for anyone who's tuning in and watching. I sure appreciate it. And I will um, keep videos posted, um, try to keep going each day so people can see how she's progressing as a baby up into an adult. And my whole goal for her is to get on, I want to free fly her. So my, really my goal is to hire the bird tricks team, Dave and Jamie Lee, um, and have them help me with some free flight. Um, that way, you know, sh cause I very um, firm on, I want them to be flighted. I think it's important for them. I mean, to me, it seems like I'm, there are situations where the birds are clipped and I think they live very full lives. They're very happy. Um, for me, I want them to be able to fly. Their whole respiratory system is built for flight. Um, so I feel like for them to live their healthiest lifestyle um, and for their exercise, I want them to be able to fly. And I would love her for her to be able to fly outside. Um, so really I wanna get the, the best trainers possible. And I have followed bird tricks for many years now and not even had a bird. So um, as soon as I can, I will be contacting them and hopefully getting into flight training. So um, that'll be fun to follow along as well, I'm hoping. So thank you so much for watching and I will post another video um, or do another video today after she comes and that way um, people can see her. And so thank you so much and I hope to do a lot more videos and I sure appreciate everyone. Have a great day.